Robert, I want you to take a bus up to Cleveland and stay with Uncle Frank for a week till we see what happens. What about my job? Tell Mr. Sloan you're sick. No, no pretty soon whether they'll come back for you or your mother. I got the name of a lawyer. Now, Mother. I am not going anywhere, eh? I wasn't eh? suggesting you leave town. I was going to say you stay with my mother. If the police come asking for you, at least you won't be home. I don't want to hide. This is no time to show the world how stubborn you can be. Mama, I don't want them taking it out on you for something Excuse they Excuse me. I have made so much trouble for your family. I will leave and there will be no more trouble. No. no. You don't have to go. I do. You got, you got a place to stay? I will find one. Maybe your in-laws have had a change of heart. You want me to talk no. to them? Yes, Horace. Yes. No, no, these people are like that. Respectable color, yes. I'll vouch for them. You have my word on it. Thank you, Horace. Thank you. Say hello to Mary for me. I will. Bye. Police will leave them alone. Thank you. Uh, Gina. Did you miss the bus? Or did you decide to come back? That is my business. Where are you staying? That is my business. So did you find out who Sarah's fellow was? No. You want me to ask around? Don't bother. If she wants poetry, the hell with her. You really think she wants poetry? Honey. Hi. So? Doctor says we've got to wait to see if the rabbit dies. Good news for the parrot. Bad news for the rabbit. Yeah, he did say that it was perfectly safe for us to celebrate all we want. I like this, Doctor. <laughs> I gotta go. I can't wait until tonight. as much chance of being put to work here as a blind mule with a bum leg. <laughs> Coffee. Here, let's see. I've talked to half the employers in town and the rest won't see me. Well, don't cry on my shoulder. I've been moving my job, but it was just all chin music to you. All right, I admit it. You were right. Thank you very much. Oh, I came in to say, if you're not too sore at me, I'd be honored to work here. You didn't hear? The position's been filled. I noticed you were low on tissue, so I opened a new carton. Linda, hi, honey. I found a job. Congratulations, Mom. <laughs> That's well. Charlie Haley reporting for duty, ready, willing, and able. Honey, I never thought I'd make it through the afternoon. All I could think about was celebrating. After we celebrate, we're going out tonight. We're dancing and having dinner. And after we're done, we're coming home and we're celebrating again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't know anyone was in there. Who are you? Gina's 
throne. A nice wife. Do you know where Caroline is? She went to buy groceries. Oh. Hi, love. I was hoping to take you home. Mike's wife is in the tub. If she needed a place to stay, I bet she could stay here. Here? $5 a week. We only have one room. He said we needed money. We also need privacy. It's okay. We'll manage. It's only temporary. I'm sorry. That's okay, kiddo. I was just about to fix us something to eat. Charlie, make up the sofa for her. Come for a walk. I used to work at this retirement home during high school. You know, yard work and maintenance. I got to know these people pretty well. They'd tell me about their dentures that didn't fit, their husbands or wives. The ones who are widows. Children, grandchildren, or great grandchildren, some of them. I'm no Robert Browning. I could never write a poem. In fact, it wouldn't even occur to me to copy one from a book. All I can tell you is that the most romantic thing I could imagine would be to grow old with you. to put the meatloaf in the icebox. Do you want some? No. I got this for you. Why? I just have a reason to get my mother a present. Mmm. <laughs> 